morning children today we are going to start with the moral formation classes i hope you might be missing those classes the very interesting stories related with different qualities the examples of various fields and of course the role plays in the class i hope you all might be missing those classes so we have decided we should start with these classes so first in this we shall start with the quality of courtesy and this is our first chapter courtesy do you know what is courtesy i am sure everybody might be knowing it and of course you all are might be following it courtesy means the attitude the behavior the good behavior towards others thinking about others helping doing good deeds and all the good deeds all the good things towards others so children today i am going to explain courtesy in little more detail with two very short and interesting stories so let's roll on to our first story and first slide so children let's start with a story once there lived a mother owl with her small children small owls but she adopted a mice and they all lived happily one day mother owl said that she is going to bake some cookies as some guest is going to arrive in their house but the children did not like this and they said that if you bake the cookies for the outsider or the guest everything will be finished and nothing will be left for them then in order to make them learn the lesson of courtesy she narrated a short story to her children she said once there was a poor man an old man and he lived with her wife and they were poor with great difficulty they managed their expenses one day this man said that a guest is going to arrive in their place and he told his wife that she has to make some eatable for the guest but the wife was quite angry she said that they are quite poor anyhow with great difficulty they managed their one time meal and she doesn't have anything to offer to the guest what she is going to do but the husband tried to convince his wife and said whatever she can do it will be very good for both of them then finally she found some sesame seeds in her place and she baked a cake for the guest and she offered the cake to the guest the guest ate it and was very happy and he went away from there very happy and fully satisfied then mother owl said to her children that though they were quite poor those couple they were quite poor but still they managed to fulfill the need the hunger of the guest but comparative to them they are quite well off and she can bake the cookies some other day for her children so this is an act of courtesy 
which she tried to make her children learn with this small example another story a very short and interesting story of a small boy one day a small boy was going to the school and he saw an old lady carrying two bags and she wanted to cross the road so that boy the small boy helped the lady to cross the road and that lady she was quite thankful and she obliged a lot to the boy and after that the lady went away and the boy also went to the school but after the school when he returned back to his house he narrated everything to her mother and the mother inquired that he has helped an old lady and that lady she was the friend of a grandmother and the mother was very happy with this good deed of her son and she also appreciated and praised the deed the good deed the feeling of courtesy of her son so children with this two short examples short stories i have tried to explain you the feeling of courtesy the meaning of courtesy which each and every one should possess so these are some notes some examples a definition of courtesy so what is courtesy courtesy is all about feelings respect courtesy is showing politeness and consideration to others like in the small slide you can see that the person the little girl is trying to help another girl with the bag and suddenly by mistake the bag fell down on the floor then the other one says it's okay let me help you and she tries to pick up the bag so that is courtesy children now here are few examples of courtesy i want to send my congratulations for i congratulate you we may pay we pay 8% interest on you can get 8% interest so these are children few examples of courtesy now the proper definition of courtesy courtesy means being aware not only of the perspective of others but also their feeling that is one should understand the feeling of others we should be sincere tactful thoughtful appreciative we should use such expression to show respect then these are the few examples the few expressions you can go through it children now this is a very simple example of our day to day life my phone says you saw my text message at least send me a thumbs up get back to you soon or something it's rude to ignore me so children this is in a day to day life when somebody sends a text message it is a courtesy to reply either through a thumbs up or by writing get back to you soon but it is very rude to ignore the message so these are few courteous expressions which we should use while speaking in english like thank you please i'm sorry excuse me now 
a short look at all these courteous expression as to where we should use these expressions thank you i know children you all are knowing very nicely where to use thank you when somebody gives you something when you buy something or receive information you are expected to say thank you or thanks then comes please you say please when you ask for something or introduces or ends a request then please forgive me excuse me you say excuse me when you want to go past somebody you also say excuse me to somebody you do not know when you want to attract their attention i beg your pardon is a much formal expression for sorry then pardon me you know where we use this expression this expression pardon me when you did not hear or understand what somebody said and you want them to repeat it at that particular moment children we say pardon me and the example so sorry i am late then comes i am afraid you use the phrase i am afraid when you want to apologize because you have to tell somebody something that they may not like sorry this to you all say 100 times in a day you say sorry when you need to apologize for something small we normally say i am sorry but on the next moment we again do something wrong and again we repeat the same expression so common courtesy what is common courtesy everyone has this common courtesy but not everyone uses it that is we all know about these expressions but hardly we use them in our day to day life so children let's be courteous and we should start using these phrases in our day to day life in our family outside our family with our family members with strangers and everyone around us these are few examples i have tried to show on through pictures like you can see here a very simple picture the mother is coming from shopping a small child is opening the door and trying to help her mother then here an old lady a small boy is trying to help that old lady by carrying her things so these are few examples few expressions of courtesy so children finally what should i say now be courteous and occasionally family members treat each other with less courtesy and kindness than they do acquaintances or even strangers so i try i want to say that we are very less courteous with our family members than with the strangers or outsiders we take we take it for granted our family members and speak whatever we feel like so children now it's time to show respect even to people who don't deserve it not as a reflection of their character but as a reflection of yours so i mean to say that showing courtesy it is like showing your personality your decency and of course your courtesy towards others so that's all for today children i hope you all have understood the expressions of courtesy and of course the meaning of courteous and from today itself you will be courteous with your family members as well as outsiders and strangers and follow this quality of courteousness in your life in your day to day life and also life long so that's all for today have a good day children